Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we're back and we're going to be playing another hidden object game. This is Around the World in 80 Days. This is the challenge is based off of the book by Jules Verne called Around the World in 80 Days. Anyways, let's start this game. Uh, profiles. Let's go to Profile 1. Let's enter my name as Pitching Ace 88. Or forgot about these games. Pitch and Ace 88. Nice. Let's go to the new classic game. Chapter 1. The house at number 7, Saville Road, Burlington Gardens, was occupied by Phileas Fogg, one of the quirkiest members of the London Reform Club. He hardly ever spoke, and his silence was surpassed only by his mysteriousness. His only pastimes were reading the newspaper and playing whist. On Wednesday, October 2nd, 1872, after hiring a new servant by the name of Jean Passepartout, a Frenchman, Phileas Fogg left his Seville Row home for the Reform Club at half past 11 o'clock. In the Hidden Object Adventure Collection, your object is to click the hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I got that. The list of these objects is located in the lower bar. Click to select an object to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to go like the uh, one with the devil's chair. Can't think of it actually at the top of my head. But they're going to be coming across the bottoms. Okay, 15 newspapers. Holy crap. Wow. Um, jeez, 15 newspapers. There's gotta be one right there. No? Uh, is that a newspaper? It looks like more like just a paper. Okay, so now apparently I'm just looking for one more. I could've sworn that's one right there. Oh, and you got hints. Just like in the other one. Oh, it was Treasure Island, of course. I remember that one. Oh crap. Come on, we gotta need to start off strong, be able to find this one this last one. Yeah, I didn't think that would be it. Oi. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Seriously, we gotta find this. I know you guys probably have already found it now. I wish it was just jumping out at me. There it is. Gosh, right in front of me too. After an afternoon spent reading the news, Mr. Fogg met up with, with his fellow whist players. As they played, they discussed the latest scandal. The Bank of England had been robbed of 50,000 pounds worth of banknotes. Thirteen spades. Well, this is fairly easy. This is cards. That's not spades. I'm an idiot. That's a club down there, isn't it? Yeah. This one just restarts it. There's one there, one there, one there, one there. A spade there, spade here. Spade here, spade here. Okay, apparently there's one more. I know that's a club. Where's this last spade? Right here, duh. I think the thief has the upper hand. He must be a very clever man. But he has nowhere to hide. The world is a pretty big place. At least it used to be. Nine remaining figures. Oh. Face cards is basically what it means. What do you mean it used to be? It certainly hasn't shrunk, has it? It's a must-have. I agree with Mr. Fogg. It takes ten times less to go around the earth than it did a hundred years ago. So it must have gotten smaller. 15 odd cards. Alright, so odd numbers. It's gotta be a 3, 5, 3, 5. I wonder if aces count. I'm not gonna choose aces yet. Um, looks like they might count. Yeah, they do. And I need one more. 5, 6, 8. Not right there. You must admit, Mr. Ralph, that your explanation of the Earth's shrinking is a bit of a joke, just because we can now travel around it in three months. In just 80 days. 
Indeed, gentlemen. Eight days by the Morning Chronicle's calculation now that the stretch from Rothal to Alabad can be done on the Great Indian Peninsula Railway. Fifteen remaining cards. So basically, I'm just gonna... It's like been like 52 card pickup. Okay, cool. Yes, 80 days, but that's not counting bad weather, crosswinds, sinking ships, trains, jumping their tracks, and other problems. Calamities included. Why don't you do it then? Go around the world in 80 days? Alright, why not? Alright, wages were made. Phileas Fogg bet 20,000 pounds. I should be back by 84.5 or 8.45 on the evening of Saturday, December 21st. Alright. Back at home, Phileas Fogg announced to Passepartout, We're leaving for Dover in 10 minutes. Planning to travel, sir? We're gonna travel around the world. Around the world? In 80 days, we haven't a moment to lose. What about to the trunks? No trunks. An overnight bag will suffice. Pack two wool shirts and three pairs of long johns for each of us. Go now. Well, this was unexpected. I thought this job was going to be a piece of cake. Yeah, you thought that wrong. Where's the white shirt? Right here? Okay. So I need a hat, scarf, toiletry case. Um, right here? No. Again, this is going to be like a lot with the other games. I don't even know what a toiletry case is. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, shoes, slippers, glasses, suitcase, beige jacket pair of red socks up here, pair of pants right here, blue shirt, shaving brush, that's not a shaving brush, this is, pair of green socks right here. Did you leave anything out? Nothing, sir. Very well then, dear Passepartout, we're off.